Say hi, Grayson. Say hi, Grayson. My husband, Wino, and I moved from the Philippines to Southern California in 2002. Our daughters joined us a couple of years later. We didn't have any immediate family in the area, so we had to start from scratch. Wino was a physical therapist in the Philippines, but he has to study again and become licensed. Care work has been a natural fit for him in the meantime. I've done a variety of things, office work, sold things online, and some home care work as well. But I got pregnant with Grayson, our miracle baby, just before the pandemic, and it was not an easy pregnancy, so I had to take time off from work. My previous employer wouldn't rehire me after I had my son, so I found other ways to help my family. We're here, downtown LA, to demand California leaders to provide better protection for domestic workers. And I found that the most meaningful way to support my family has been learning about and advocating for our rights as low-income, people of color immigrants in Los Angeles. Domestic workers like my husband face so many challenges. They're working long hours for very low wages, no sick or vacation time. My husband does a lot of mental and physical labor at work and barely even gets a break to sit down during the day. That is why the domestic worker community is so important to me. They've helped fill gaps in our knowledge about Rena's rights as a domestic worker and of our rights as immigrants. I'm proud to be part of this work. They've helped me and my family find our voice and transform me into an advocate for worker rights. If I could change something about domestic work that would help my family, it would be for care work agencies to follow the law, treat workers with dignity and respect, and provide benefits like paid time off. Those changes would help Reno provide quality care to his clients. Most importantly, he would be able to spend time with us, his family. We would no longer be worried about him getting sick or not having time off to rest. It is only when these positive changes happen that I believe we will really be able to thrive.